All right, have and have not fans. Now, it's been a couple of days since I picked up the microphone to record, and to me, that feels like, you know, a long time. So it's good to be back on this. Uh, Temptation Tuesday, it is 8 a.m. right now, and I have about six or seven videos I need to get done and posted to the channel before tonight's new episode. Now, this video might seem like a, duh, Jeremy, what are you doing with this kind of thing? But this is another yet another example of, when I see enough fans asking the same question enough times for something that's already been explained, I'm not against going back to doing a, another quick recap video. Now, I did a very, very well-received video um, last week about what is the lion tattoo, basically breaking down from uh, season five, episode four, the lion, when Hannah tells Candace a story about how she was raped, how Candace came to be conceived, and how the man that raped her had a lion tattoo, and, you know, talking about who was the man with the lion tattoo, you know, we're going over suspects like Derek, for example, I even did a, I even did a David video, a Jeffrey Owens video, but there's one person that I still get questions about because um, just a quick thank you to a lot of, I'm guessing, newer subscribers who have been watching videos I did o o over a year ago. I'm getting comments on videos uh, I, I forgot I did. You know, like as soon as I pump out videos, I'm pretty much done with that particular video. But yeah, uh, there were a few comments on a video I did about a character who was not named until just recently on IMDb. And we are talking about Larry. Um, and he was in the episode Undercover Vice as well as The Lion. And let's just play this quick clip right here to refresh your memory. He's your father. Yeah, I know a lot of people probably remember that scene. And the reason I'm bringing this up again in this video is a lot of people were asking, wait, didn't we already meet Hannah's father? I mean, excuse me. Didn't we already meet Candace's father, the man that Hannah said, that's your father? Where did he go? He just walked out of the room and that was it. Well, the short answer is that isn't the guy, at least as far as we know, as far as Candace knows. If anything, um, Larry was just a plot point because, number one, in the episode Undercover Vice, it actually seemed like he would be, well, for lack of a better phrase, an undercover vice uh, because you had the one guy who was, you know, um, an unattractive white guy, pretty nervous around females, it seems, not able to really, I guess you could say, what, what's the term I'm looking for? Pretty much appear as someone who's not a vice. He was obviously an undercover vice. And then Candace pretty much, you know, walked up to the bar to talk with Larry, pretty much flirting with him. And it was kind of strange. Well, actually, I don't exactly remember if it was Candace flirting with Larry or vice versa. I think if memory serves right, it was Candace that approached him and pretty much invited him up to her room. But, you know, I was I remember doing theories and doing the videos like, you know what? What if it turns out that white dude was just like the decoy? And then um, this guy here, this good looking, you know, debonair guy who seemingly has money. What if he's the real vice and he's sent there to kind of bust a prostitution ring? It would have made sense. But um, we only saw him at the end of the episode, you know, when Candace is having a falling out, a falling out with Benny and Hannah once again. Then the cliffhanger was, you know, this is your father. Then in the next episode, he's like, you know what? I'm going to leave. Then he leaves. And then Hannah pretty much used Larry as a, again, a device to say, you know what? You're out here sleeping with all these random men. You have no idea. If you have encountered or slept with your father before, but then Candace makes a point that I wasn't going to sleep with him, uh, mainly because at this point, remember, she was robbing people, hence how she got arrested last season before Landon and the team got her out of jail. Uh, if you forgot, just think about it this way. It was when she was in jail and kicked Quita's ass. That's pretty much what she got arrested for, um, robbing men. I believe it was a retired congressman who was actually robbed and, you know, he called the cops. So basically, Larry, as far as we know, is not the father. He was just somebody introduced. Uh, the actor name is Richard Whedon, I believe. Yeah, W-H-I-T-E-N, Whedon. Um, so he was in those two episodes. And as far as I know, he is not back for any other episode. So once again, Larry, who, again, we finally got a name. I remember doing the episode review, um, the, episode, um, the video. Wait, is this Candace's father? And that video did pretty well. 
um, last year, we didn't we didn't know his name on IMDb. He wasn't even listed. It wasn't until just recently I checked, and Larry is, as far as we know, not the father. He's not returning. So the man with the lion tattoo is still a mystery. Hopefully tonight we may figure it out. Is Derek the guy? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, does he just so happen to have a lion tattoo? Mm, well, we'll find out. Just because he has a tattoo doesn't necessarily mean he's the man with the lion tattoo. But at the same time, uh, it seems a bit ridiculous to have multiple characters show up with similar tattoos. Twos and the whole thing about Candace saying it was an older man and Candace has the same eyes and some of the other features of this particular rapist so she would know who it is based off looking at him but I think looking into a person's eyes there could be a drastic change between somebody who's a hateful spiteful person but as years go on to become more I guess you could say gentle and not as you know hateful I guess and there is a change. Sometimes you can just tell by a person's eyes, you know, how they're feeling, their demeanor and whatnot. So I don't think the eyes would be a dead giveaway because if Derek had similar eyes to Candace, you know, I think Hannah would have figured it out. But I think time probably softened him up, not to mention being in jail. So I think the most quote unquote damning piece of, oh, my God, Derek is the one. Just think about the scene where, you know, Derek and Candace meet briefly for the first time. It was when Candace went over to the house and threatened Hannah, saying that she would send somebody over every night if that's what it took for her to get that $8 million. And those two stood by each other just briefly. And I always thought, like, if you remember way back um, last season around this time when Hannah, uh, excuse me, Melissa and Benny briefly exchanged words after the whole car wreck incident they ended up you know being lovers for a bit and then you know she ended up jumping off the roof and killing herself just notice that whenever two characters who i've never met before have a brief exchange or just happen to be in the same location for a little bit of time they usually end up having a greater storyline together as time goes on who knows maybe the same thing with landon and mitch going back to the video i did about will the malones kill landon and with that being said folks just a brief history lesson on larry you are not the father congratulations on making it to the end of this video if you like what you saw be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going on the left hand side of the screen you should see a picture of jeffrey harrington you can click on him in order to subscribe but also hit the bell notification icon that way you don't miss out on any new content also you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw but also be sure to follow me on social media such as facebook instagram and twitter links to all my social media will be in the description below and in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers i'm going to need your help so make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media but once again thanks so much for tuning in and i'll catch you all in the next video